2 0, we've lost against City. Talk to me. There's no fucking backbone, mate. They're a fucking disgrace. They're a fucking disgrace. Ashley Young. Ashley Young is a disgrace and should never wear that fucking captain's armband. Should never wear that captain's armband. They're a disgrace. Fred was on the ball that fucking much. He had no one to pass to. No one. They're fucking shocking. They're absolutely shocking. What do you think? I, I, I wasn't happy with it today. I thought the first half we looked like we were going to do something. I don't we never think we had a shot on target. Did we have a shot on target in that game? One, did we have one shot on target in that game? It's a fucking disgrace. What needs to change at Manchester United? What needs to change? Clear it out. They need a fucking clear it out. It's a fucking joke. It's a disgrace, mate. Who, who, what, what, who do you think, because we've seen three, four different managers, who do you think is responsible for where we are at the moment? Right, OK. City score, we still don't make a change. We still don't make a change. And we bring Lukaku on and bring Pereira off. Did it make any difference? There's no difference. There's nobody on that bench who can come on and make a difference. There's nobody who can come on. When Fernandinho went off, we saw Sane come on and Guardiola, score. Guardiola sussed it out at our time. So he, he brought Sane on straight away, bang. You know what I mean? He sussed it out. He sussed where the weakness was. We're fucking shit. And period was shit. Cheers, man. You need sorting out. Lad, what's happening here? We've lost to City today. Um, disappointing result. What did you make of the performance? Um, well, the first 20 minutes wasn't so bad. You could see there was passion there. You can't really go and just say, oh, they ain't playing for the badge and all that. They did try and play. They did try the best. You can't really disagree with that. But... We can't, we can't help that they are just better than us. Simple as that. It's really bad. I mean, I'm hard, I'm literally, I'm literally spent the last 15 minutes of the game just looking at my phone, answering messages. I wasn't bothered what was going on in front of me because there was nothing that was going to happen that was going to impress me. But you know, I mean, that is the difference in quality, and that is the. I don't want to sound like David Moyes, but I, we are not aspiring to be like. We're a to be better than that. There's a harsh realization that City are better than us, but I think everyone could see that. In 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 um, everyone can see that, but um, what we can't see is the club looking to act upon it and, and make that difference and make that bridge that gap. How did they do that? Well, we're hearing a lot about this director of football. I mean, I mean, um, you've probably heard about Mike Phelan being talked about. I don't. I think he's better off where he is. He's better off down on the touchline. He's down there on the training ground. He's talking to them players. I mean, I do believe that now the Fergie way is not the right way because Fergie's way. I mean, OK, I'm going to talk about, you know, the past. I don't like talking about the past, but OK, you go back to 2009, the Fergie way, when we played Barcelona in the Champions League final. I look, we had a good 10 minutes in the first half and then all of a sudden they just dominated us. 2011, we played the same team again who had improved had a good 10 minutes and they just dominated us again. Right. OK, when we played uh, Barcelona again here the other week, we did exactly the same to a degree and they just dominated us. Same at the new camp, we had five minutes instead of ten. We did the same here against City. And come on, these tactics are not working anymore. We need to adapt to our own way of football that's going to work against these better teams. And I'm not going to say bigger teams, better teams. That's the thing about the summer. We've, we've not only got to get players in, we've also got to get these players drilled because we're looking at sides like There's Liverpool, City. Pounds, they're well drilled, well coached. Um, because even in Pep's first season, City had their issues, and they did, maybe we've got yeah. to give Oli the time to to get uh, those and, things and wrong, to more, get them right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I'm I'm 100 behind you on that. Because we've got to give this guy time. We've got to give it because he's had what he had the January transfer window where he was the interim manager. You're not going to give interim managers money, are you? You're just going to say, All right, you go. You just take it to the end of the season, and that'll be the end of it. Not a problem. But when you come to giving him the permanent job this summer, it's got to be a big summer. It's got to be a big summer. You've got to identify them people who are not doing the job properly. I'm not saying they're not playing for the badge, because that would be wrong to say that, because I do not believe there's a player at this club that does not play for the badge, right? Because I think that is just completely wrong. But there is players that are just not up to the standard. Yeah, they need to, they just got to go. But identify them. Got to be ruthless. Cheers, man. Nah, disappointing, that, innit? It's disappointing. But I thought it was a lot better than Everton. I thought we played well in the first half. You know, you got to take your chances in a game like that. They're a good side, so I'm surprised. You know, they you feel that you feel that we created enough chance because I thought in the same in the first half we're we're a little bit better than we were at Everton. Yeah, yeah. But do 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 you think we created enough chances in this match? Probably not because I mean there was one or two Rashford at the start, but it wasn't like troubling the keeper. He wasn't pulling off worldies. It was just simple for City really. We were just outside the box, maybe taking a few shots. They were closing us down. 
they played better, but you can see clearly they're not good enough. I mean, I thought Rashford was making runs and he was really good. Pogba, you can say he's playing balls, but apart from that, there's no creativity around them. I think, think Lingard was that good. Um, I can't really even remember who else was playing in the And then a lot of our width comes yeah, from our yeah. fullbacks because we've got no natural wingers and the fullbacks we're looking at today who were Shaw and Young. Young. He was to be fair, first half I thought he did all right, he was putting some balls in, you know, he was creating chances. Second half it just went back to the same old Ashley Young playing balls you know, going out of touch. Um Shaw didn't even know he was playing, you know, not in a horrible way, but he didn't even know he was playing. And then Damian, I thought he was all right, but he's not United quality. These aren't the players that we should be playing. These aren't the players we should be relying on in a game like this. But this is what he's having to do. So I think a lot of these players are going to get ripped out of this team. I can see eight players going, you know, I can see that much. Can I see eight players coming in? I don't know, but I can see, you know, big, if they properly back him. Like it was on the telly the other day, if you want to back him, forget whose name is on the back, forget how much you paid for them, get them out. If they don't want to play here, get them out. And that's what I think we're going to see. And I think people might be upset because the favourites might go, but forget that. We have to go back to basics and build from the start. Cheers, man, Nat. Thank you very much. Nice one, yeah? yeah. You got a game?